Here, right? So I'm Jay Whitela, founder of GiveSome. I guess GiveSome for me was a seed that was planted back in 2002 when I got on a plane and I flew to Namibia, Africa for the first time. I'd never been to Africa before and I knew to expect a bit of a culture shock. And the day that I got to the town that I was going to be living in, I was introduced to a man named Kamadi, who I had no idea at that point was going to become a very close friend of mine. And when I met Kamadi, he gave me a big hug and he said, Jay, I want to show you my house. And so he invited me over to where he lived. And this was the first house that I'd walked into that year. And I walked in and he showed me the living room and the kitchen and the bedroom and he had absolutely nothing in his house. And after a few months, I sent an email home on a whim, which I guess in hindsight turned out to be the very first fundraising campaign that I'd ever run. I would have been happy with $500, but they ended up sending about $7,000 three days later. And I thought that was the end of the story. I was about to help somebody live a little easier uh, in Namibia. But what happened was the town found out and women from the town came over and they saw that Kamadi now had this little fridge and he had a mattress that he could sleep on. And this enormous celebration broke out that I now found myself in the middle of. And it suddenly dawns on me, I was 25 years old at the time, that this is the first time in my life that I'm able to see what happens after you give. So what I did was I went home and I emptied out my office because I didn't want to become complacent. And it was a reminder to me every day I walked into that office that I did not belong there anymore. And within a few months, I left and I started my journey towards figuring out what I was going to do in order to help uh, show people the other side of giving. I wanted to find out what were the things that were holding people back from giving. In all of my conversations, I realized it really boiled down to six things. And of those six, two things kept coming up. Number one was when people thought about giving, they never really know how much of what they give actually goes to what they want it to go to. And number two was they felt like when they gave, they weren't ever brought into the story to know what kind of impact they had. So we are partnering with incredible charities around the world who are doing amazing work. And through those charities, we are grabbing projects that they need to support this year and we're posting those projects on the GiveSome app. And we're giving people the ability to support those projects. And so you can go on, you can see the project, you can learn a little bit about it, you can see the charity that we partnered with to complete it, and then you can decide to give. And we made giving easy. All of the donation that you send ends up going to that project. GiveSome doesn't take a cut of that. And what we hope through GiveSome is that by doing this and providing this opportunity, people really start to get excited about giving. They start to see the other side of it, where I'm not just giving and losing money, but I'm actually making an impact somewhere. I'm actually making a difference for somebody somewhere. Through the projects that we post on the app, people will be able to meet others around the world who have a certain need and be able to enter their story because they'll learn a little more about them than they regularly do. And then when they give, they're going to see the conclusion of that. They're going to see the impact they have. This is GiveSome. And we do all of this because more than anything else, we think it's important that people truly see the difference they make when they give. And the only way to engage a person is to speak to their heart. And that is what GiveSome is all about.